I think we can all agree that most people love the Daisy expansion mod. However, it can be a bit of a pain to get set up without starting your server from scratch and starting over. Today, we're going to be converting our existing Daisy server from all of our other Daisy videos in the Daisy series into an expansion server. So let's go ahead and get started. And then to go ahead and get started, we're just going to have a look at what we currently have set up here. So we have this video series server and it's a pretty basic. We have some admin tools, um, trader, banking, code lock, vanilla plus plus map, some very basic tools added in here, our own custom loading screen, but this isn't expansion. So we want to go ahead and add Daisy expansion to this without completely starting over. And then, so the first thing we're going to want to go ahead and look at is the Daisy expansion wiki page. This will obviously be linked as usual. And this has some really good information about setting up expansion settings, all that. There's also a direct link to their Discord as well in case you want to go on there. They have important stuff about updates, stuff like that. Super, super useful information on there. The very first thing that we're going to want to go to, go to is the how to set up a server uh, with expansion right here, which we have open. And then it comes with this little chart, this cheat sheet, which is really, really important. So we have that open here. And this kind of gives you a walkthrough of the different ways that you can do it. So you're always going to need Community Framework and Apps Framework. You're always going to need those. And then you're going to also either need core and then pick the add ons that you want. So the different types of add ons that you want, or you can also go for the bundle. So you'll grab license and then the bundle and it includes all this. And you can also throw animations on top there. The bundle can be really useful if you are starting with a fresh server with no mods whatsoever. And you just want to kind of install one thing and you're good and you have everything. It does add a lot of stuff you may not want to use though so you know quests spawn select vehicles you know you may not want any of those or these other things and then since we have something already existing going i'm going to go with the more modular approach here which is you know just core and then choosing the different mods i want to add on there and then for today we're just going to be going ahead and adding the daisy expansion core because you're obviously going to need that and then we'll also get the main expansion add-on and we'll probably do the expansion map assets just so we have those. And we're also going to grab Dab's framework just because we don't actually have that on our server currently. And then you can see up here, there's some information about if you need to wipe your database and all that. So if you add this, it's going to require wiping. So if you don't have community framework already added, which it's really required for like all mods. So you should have this already. You don't need to wipe. If you do have to add this mod, you will have to wipe your database though. And then when it comes to core, it's only if you remove this what you have to wipe. So, you know, no big deal there. We're just going to go ahead and add it and we shouldn't have any issues of our existing server. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and remote in here. And then so we are using Omega Manager as far as just our general management of everything. So we can add all the mods, do auto updating. You can download these directly from Steam if you wanted to. And then you could go ahead and just move them over. It's just not going to auto update. So this is the recommended method to make sure all your stuff auto updates. If you want to set up Omega Manager, there will be a card in the top right on how to do that. And then this page here also has a list of all the mods. It tells you how to manually add it to a batch file if you're doing it that way instead of Omega Manager. So I'll leave this as a reference if needed. These do link directly to the Steam pages of all of them. So you can actually figure out which mods kind of do what things. So you know which ones you want to add. We'll probably dive into this, you know, separately in a different video to where we kind of dig into each one and how to set those ones up. We're just going to be doing some basic stuff at first. So we're going to go ahead and go into the overview on here. And then we're going to go over to our mod configuration. And since I don't have dabs, I'm going to go ahead and grab that now. And then this is going to be the order that they load in. I'm going to load this right after CF. And then we do have VPP admin tools that you could use community online tools or caught instead. Uh, this is my preferred method. You can use either one. It will work either way. And then so we're going to go ahead and grab core here. So Daisy expansion core. And then we're also going to get the main Daisy expansion mod. And then so we're going to want to try to load core first so just because it's the very core and then we can add everything else under here. One thing to note is you want to go through your existing mods and see if there's anything that's going to cause some problems like uh, conflicting stuff like say if you have an auto run or something like that stuff that's already included in the mods that you're adding. So in this case, like our loading screen right here, Daisy expansion has its own loading screen system and this isn't compatible. So we're actually going to go ahead and remove that. The reporter, this one is sort of compatible. The hotkey still works in order to open it and report that way, but it doesn't show up on the kill feed. For now, we'll keep it in because it's still 
sort of works. And then now that we have expansion, we're just going to search for the map assets to go ahead and grab those. And then this all looks good to me. So we have all of our requirements of so CF dApps framework, got to have both of those. We have a admin tool. We have, we have game labs for our CF tools cloud. We have a trader because we're using third-party trader right now. We don't have the expansion market in yet. A uh, banking add-on, map add-on, all of that. All this looks good. When we add vehicles from expansion, we'll probably get rid of this third-party car cover and use theirs. But this all looks good to get started. Typically, expansion is going to want a slightly higher priority. So we're going to drop these up here instead. Put all our expansion stuff up here. That way it loads pretty early on. So let's go ahead and save that. Just changes have been saved. And then let's go ahead and go back to the home and install Untracked Mods now. And then it looks like it downloaded all those mods, so it's tracking it. And then we can see that we have an unapplied configuration. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down the server, restart it, that way you can apply those mod changes. And then that's also gonna get our configuration started as well. So we're gonna shut it down and then start it back up. And then it's fully off now, so let's go ahead and start it again. So that way we can get those base configurations created. And we'll also see if we get any start errors here as well. If you do get any errors, they would pop up. But just make sure that you have it in the right order and you have the correct requirements with CF and DABS framework, and you should be good. And as we can see here, it looks like it's starting. We're not getting any errors, so that looks good. We would recommend if you run into any issues, you can go back to the wiki here. And there's a section on the bottom about different errors you may get. Uh, so if you see this, you know, you're missing CF, stuff like that. A um, couple other possible things you may run into. This tells you about your server profile, all that stuff. Just some useful stuff to find there. And then so this all looks good. We're going to go ahead and shut this down. That way we can go ahead and make our edits. And then now that that's off, we can go ahead and have a look at a configuration. So we're in our server folder here from Mega Manager. We're going to go into our servers, go into server zero, since that's the main one that we're working out of here, server zero. And then we can see that we have all of our new mods added, so that all looks good. And we're going to want to go ahead and go into our profiles or our config folder. So by default, that's going to be profiles. It may be SC, might be you know server name, could be a couple different things. But we can see, you know, we have our general logs and all that stuff here. And then now we're going to have a new expansion mod folder. And then we'll have some settings. And then we're going to have all these basic settings to work with. I'm going to open this up in a text editor just so it's easier to move through. So we'll use Visual Studio. You can use Notepad. Either thing, you know, works. Because you can just go in here, you know, open this file with, open it with Notepad if you'd prefer. So we're going to look through Visual Studio here. Or we'll go to our profiles, and then into an expansion, we can see all these. So we're just going to kind of run through some quick basics. The very first thing that we want to look at is our general settings here. And then the M version, we're never going to actually use this. This is more used by the mod to determine what version your configuration files are. So don't use that. And then the great thing about the wiki here is it's very well documented. So we can actually go over here to server hosting. And that tells us a bit about, you know, different settings, all that. In this case, we're going to just have a quick look at the general settings. And again, tells you kind of how everything works here. So all this, you know, disable uh, shoot to unlock, gravestones, all that. And then we're just going to go ahead and have a look here, make some changes. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and enable gravestones just so that's there. And then I'm going to leave, you know, de de delete the dead body. That's all fine. We can look through, you know, our mapping, all that fun stuff here. And then we have our mapping here. So this is all the, like the custom locations that are created by expansion. And if we don't want it for some reason, all the custom stuff added, we can actually just remove that line and it will not use that. I'm going to actually leave this all default because I like all this, but we can make changes if we want to. And then in this case, if you're, you know, want to use the custom mapping, you do need to enable it as well. So we're just going to enable that there, change that to a one. And then you can make custom locations there. And then also if you want to do the interiors, we can do that as well. And then as a note, you know, there's things about custom mappings do have performance impact. So just something to keep in mind if you do or do not want to enable that. Then we're just going to full screen this, go through some extra settings here. The full explanations are on that wiki, which will be linked in case you have questions about it. I'm going to enable uh, yeah, generators. Magic crosshair can go away. Yeah, enable auto run. I'm okay with that. 
Most people aren't going to do unlimited cinema, but I would like to do that. Death screens, fine. Statistics, yeah, that all looks good. And then I'm not going to change these colors, but you can absolutely change these colors if you'd like. And then also you could change like the logo using the path if we were, you know, using that earplugs. This all looks good. There's just some basic settings. So let's go ahead and save that. You can go in here if you're going to change anything damage wise. Your debug settings don't really need to touch this in most cases. Your log settings on what's being logged. Monitoring. You can set up a notification scheduler settings. So if you wanted custom notifications from Daisy expansion instead of a third party like CF Tools Cloud or Beck or anything like that, you could put some kind of custom stuff in here. If there's enough interest, I may, you know, kind of dive into how to configure this, but the wiki is pretty good about giving you a good idea how it works. But if it's something that people are interested in, definitely let me know. And then we have all of our different notifications, your kill feeds, you know, for different types of deaths, people leaving, joining, all that stuff. Again, you really just configure this, you know, how you would like it. Um, zeros and ones, uh, as far as enable, disable goes. Pretty simple stuff. If you want, you know, the player list, this is where you can do that. And then you can do some social media one. This is probably something you do want to change here. So you have, you know, your placeholder text and then, you know, your news feed items, all that fun stuff and your actual icons. And then I'm just kind of throwing in some random stuff in here that I want to put there for the title, uh, some text, some discord here as well. So if we want to add, you know, links in there, we're going to update this to be a discord link. And then you can put Twitter here, all that fun stuff or X if you want to call it that uh, for whatever reason. And then this looks pretty good to me. You can add other social medias there if you really want to, but I'm going to keep this as is. Just make sure you follow, you know, basic formatting as far as if you need to add uh, anything extra to close it, all that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Um, we're not going to change a whole lot with these other settings. We're going to go with the very basic settings for now. And then, like I was saying, this will also be linked to where this is, you know, all the settings, the different values you can put in it, all that stuff. You really got to look through it and see what works for you, but just kind of go through that. So let's go ahead and get this started and make sure this is working as we'd expect it to. So we're going to go ahead and start that up. Alrighty, and it looks like it's up. Looks like this is started. That's all good. Got unlocked. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and join and make sure that everything looks as we expect it to. Alrighty, and we see it's in the list now here. And then if we click on this, just to get more info here, we can now see the mods that's currently there. Looks like it hasn't pulled the new mods yet in um, the launcher. So I'm going to restart this launcher and then double check that we see the mods uh, being updated now. That way we are joining with the correct mods. Alrighty, and then after restarting the launcher, if we have a look here now, go to info, you can see we're actually getting our expansion mods showing up on here now, so that's good. So let's go ahead and join and make sure that everything looks good in game. And we can see so far we have kind of the new backgrounds and all that, uh, new tooltip notices. So we're launched with expansion. And then it looks like we got an error. Let's try that again. And then it looks like we actually did run into an issue to where when we tried to join, it is crashing and rebooting it. So this is a great opportunity to go ahead and check and see if we can see what's going on here. So in that profiles folder, we should have some logs here. So we should have some RPT logs and maybe some crash logs here. We can have a look at and see if we can see what's going on. And then after some additional testing, we went through, I went through the logs just to kind of verify why that wasn't starting appropriately or kind of crashing there. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you're ever having issues is in your profiles, you're going to have your RPT logs here, which can be really useful. If you're using Omega Manager, these are going to get rotated out whenever the server gets restarted, which it's going to automatically restart it if it's crashing. And then those are actually going to get thrown back one folder into the logs folder here. And then you'll want to go into the most recent folder and then you can see all the logs and we can see what I was seeing here. Then what I was kind of seeing here is it was, you know, trying to do this. And then eventually we were looking at some RAM issues. And the issue in this case was I had enabled these uh, custom buildings, the mapping module, all that. That actually was causing it to crash because there wasn't enough RAM available on this virtual machine. So something to keep in mind, you're going to want something pretty beefy to enable those. So we went ahead and disabled those two for now. So we don't have the custom building interiors or the custom mapping module enabled now. And now we're able to, you know, fully load up and we're going to go ahead and join and make sure everything looks good. Then as everything kind of loads here, we're now getting a countdown going in. So looks like we are good there. We'll go ahead and wait for that. Make sure we get in all the way. 
And then we load it in here and you can see we immediately got the expansion notification about us joining the server because we have that currently enabled. And then on the bottom left, we got the CF tools message there, the welcome message. So that's from CF tools. And then let's have a look here. If we press escape. We have, you know, our different thing here. So here's that new suite I was talking about where we just kind of threw that text in there. You can have other icons, um, different, you know, websites, all that fun stuff can go in here. And then we can see we still have our third party VPP map mod installed and going since we didn't use the expansion one. You can definitely remove this one and add that one in there though if you'd prefer. And then we're just gonna go ahead and toggle our admin tool on real fast. We're just gonna run down here. We can verify things like our auto run is working. All our you know general expansion stuff is working as expected here. Um, and then as we change in our settings there, we do have unlimited standima currently, all that fun stuff. And that really is about it. We got the very basic setup to where, you know, the mod's working. We did some configuration changes. As you go through and add other modules or other mods in there from expansion, you'll get new settings options that enable in that configuration folder. So you can kind of edit those as you'd like. But this is just getting the base going for you, and then we can make changes as we go. As always, if there's anything important that I missed or forgot to mention, it will be in a pinned comment below. And of course, always thanks to my patrons for you know supporting. And then if there's any suggestions, any expansion-related content, whether it's loading screen, trader, whatever anyone's interested in, definitely let me know. And have a go.